we're going to have to take this stock coupler off this motor so I can put on the billet right here. And I'll be taking off this cover to put on the cold fusion flywheel lock so I can smack this guy off here. Here's the cold fusion tool for the Yamaha. There's a different one for Kawasaki. You fit the holes and then you move, shim that up, not shim it, move it forward. Tighten it up and that holds the power wheel. Keep it from spinning. On. So, now, when you go to pry this thing off, the flywheel, or the, yeah, the rotating assembly, it'll be stuck. version of the evil laugh. Okay, so with this, what made it easy is having the right tool, plus putting um, like deep creep thread penetrant. I let it soak overnight. Okay, so now we can install all the things. Beautiful. Out with the old, in with the new. Having the right tools is awesome. Fifty dollars for this thing, but it took us five minutes to do. Uh -huh. So now I'm gonna reuse them. Just gonna put this on, just to protect all this stuff. I'll replace the gasket after I'm done taking the engine in and out of the hole. Come on. So with the coupler, I'll show it out here since we're about to put it in the uh, in the hole. So if you've got it, say it's too high, like this part's on this part's on the mid shaft obviously the engine. So if the mid-shaft one's too high, then you need to shim up the back of the engine to make it even. And what you do is you'll use a credit card or a plane, anything with a straight edge that's short enough, and you'll go all the way around and make sure that both levels are even. And that's basically, that's that's how you shim the engine up to meet the mid-shaft. Oh. 
move in this area, you think? Mm -hmm. So, and then the next one, you want to come by this, right there. Mm -hmm. And if it's a little way this way, that's okay because you probably put the strap in yeah. there and have some shit on yeah. the backwards. Center point, call that. Yeah. And then this side, you can probably use one of these. Okay. So, yeah, you'll kind of like line them up. Once you like visually. Finding out where the inserts need to be. Kind of go like that, go like there. And then this guy, probably utilize one of these, probably that one. So it pulls it down. Put it on in three quarters. Okay. Okay, that's the stretch length that we'll need. Gravity pulls you straight down. 